of the law, this book of the law, okay. shall not depart out of thy mouth. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Not meditate on the laws of the Most High. How long? Day and night. When? Day and night. Day and night. See? That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. That you may observe to do all that is written in the laws of the Most High. And when you do this, see? For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Then you're going to make your way prosperous, see? And then thou shalt have good success. And then you're going to have good success. Huh? Isaiah 34 16. See, this is our way, man. The only way. Through the word of the Most High. His laws, such commandments. His rules and regulations. Let's read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Most High. And read. Yeah. You want to keep some of us? What you do? What they say? Put it where? Put it in a book. So you need to be reading this book, but you got to read it with understanding. We have flyers for you. We have food, physical food, and drink. And we have the most important spiritual food right here as you hear. Because y'all have ears to hear, and I know you hear. Read. Read it again. See? The book of Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Most High and read. Say, seek ye out of the book of the Most High, the Bible, and what? And read. And read, read. No one of these shall fail. No one of these shall fail, read. None shall want her mate. You can't match any book with the Bible. You can't put no book up against the Bible. Bring it forth. No books ain't gonna give you the prophecies on the things that happened in the past, the present, and the future. It's all here in the Bible, though. Me. For my mouth it hath commanded. You know, the most high's mouth has commanded these words to be written, babe. Right? And his spirit it hath gathered them. His spirit hath gathered them. Second Peter 2 and 20. The most high spirit gathered these words to be spoken. Let's read. The book of Second Peter, chapter 2, verse 20. For it after they have escaped. No, give me all 1 and 20. Select you. First, first Peter is two. But that's that's a good one too. We can go back there because that's the ignorance that we in. After we escape the pollution of the Gentiles. <laughs> the book of First Peter, chapter one, verse twenty. Chapter two, verse twenty. For what glory is it if when ye be buffeted for your no, no, I think it's one and twenty and twenty one. The book of First Peter, chapter one, verse twenty. Who verily was foreordained before the book of Second Peter chapter one verse twenty. Knowing this first, knowing this first, read that no prophecy, no prophecy of this scripture, Salakia, of the scripture is of any private interpretation. Yeah, but that's why I say you gotta get to understanding to precept upon precept, light upon light, light upon light, here a little and there a little. Read. For the prophecy came not in old times. So in the Old Testament, let you know the prophecy came not in old times by what? By the will of man. Man didn't decide that he gonna write this himself, read. But holy men of the Most High spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. That holy men of the Most High spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. That's why I get Jeremiah 30 and 1. Holy men of the Most High spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit, man. The Spirit of the Most High. Read. The book of Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 1. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Most High. So listen. Remember, holy men spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of the Most High. The word that came to Jeremiah from who? From the Most High. From the Most High. Saying, Thus speak of the Most High power of Israel. Saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. Write the words that the Most High spoke to Jeremiah where? In a, in a book. Right, so this ain't no man-made doctrine, man. The Bible is not no man-made doctrine. The Most High said, Write what? I have spoken unto thee no, in... The speak of the Most High Power of Israel. What the Most High Power of Israel said. What he said? Saying, write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. In a book, man. Read. For lo, the 
days come, saith the Most High, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, saith the Most High. Right, man. He gonna bring us back, man, to the sheepfold. Give me uh, when you said Second Peter's two and twenty, man. But see, our minds been polluted. The book of Second Peter, chapter two, verse twenty. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world, yeah, once you escape by learning this truth, man, learning the law of Statue Commandments of the Most High. Once you escape the pollutions of what? The, of the world. Of the world, man. Why he say the pollution of the world? Why it says pollution of the world, y'all? Hold that. Get James 4 and 4. You understand? You got to come out of this world, man. This world is up to see you straight to hell, man. Let's read it. Want you to escape the pollutions. Pollution is nasty. Filthy McNasty. You know how it is. It's right there up in the sky right here in California, man. Nasty, filthy, when it rain, it, it comes down on us. A whole lot of filth. That's the pollution, man. Wash your car, if it's sprinkled anyway. Your car filthy, McNasty. Well, you filthy, McNasty, if it come down on you. Read. The book of James, chapter 4, verse 4. That's what I say, want you to escape the pollutions of the world. Why you say that? Ye adulterous and adulterous sis, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High. That the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High. That means you're an enemy of the Most High. You ain't war with the Most High. You see? Me. He gonna tell you. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world, so you wanna be a friend of this world? Me. Is the enemy of the Most High Power. Enemy of the Most High Power, man. Give me Romans 12 and 2. That's why you gotta change, man. You gotta become a new creature. You gotta be a man and stand up for righteousness. And stop being a chump, man, going for anything. Especially hurting your brother and your sister. And you got a, we all got a common enemy. And everybody's standing up for them. Me. The book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world. Say, be not conformed to this world. So you be at war with the Most High. You become the enemy of the Most High. Say, be not conformed to this world, man. But be ye transformed. Man, you gotta be transformed. You gotta change. Me. You gotta be the difference. Me. By the renewing of your mind. Renewing of what? Of your mind. Renewing of your mind. The way you think. See, the way you think, the way you're gonna speak, the way you act. In consecutive order, man. You think something, you speak something, and you act upon it. Every single time. Read it from the top. The book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world. You don't want to become the enemy of the Most High. <laughs> you don't want to become a person that's at war with the Most High. But a lot of you are already there. Because you're the friend of this world. Be. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's what the truth going to do for you, man. It's going to renew your mind. Bring you out of darkness, out of this ignorant state of mind that you're in. Not knowing who you are. Not knowing that salvation is prepared for you as an Israelite. Knowing that the Most High Power is the power of Abraham, the power of Isaac, the power of Jacob, who is the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel, who we are as the children of Israel, how you, who you are. If you want to accept the truth. All right. All right. Hello, all. The flies. All right. Next week. Okay. On the first day. Shalom. This day. Shalom, brother. The book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Our minds got to be renewed. We will die by a plan, man, to destroy us. That's why I say we destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because we reject the knowledge of the truth, of the Most High's word. That's why it's called us a bunch of rejects. Why? Because we refuse to come back to the truth. Do you think the so-called white man gonna come from heaven and set righteousness on this earth? Huh? They put him up as the Most High. They put themselves up as the Mashiach Yahweh Shai. They put themselves up as you, the 12 tribes of Israel. But anybody gonna stand up against them, man. Better wake up. That's why I say your mind gotta be renewed and understand this and understand this point, man. Come back to the sheepfold. 
Because there will come a time, man, when they're going to come down the street, there ain't going to be no love and happiness and joy. They're coming to get you, straight up. They know that we are the chosen people of the Most High. We don't know that as a people. But all you out here that's shucking and jiving, messing around, messing over our people, man, the Most High's people, he going to get you. He going to get you. You ain't going to continue to do this, man. Believe that. That's why those of you that hear my voice and hear the word of the Most High, you got a chance to come out of this madness, man. All you that's selling drugs and, and, and killing our people, you're going to be put to death, man. You got a choice to choose life or death. You can come out of that, man. You're looking at men that have been there. You see what I'm saying? So it ain't like you can't do it because it can't be done. Most High ain't calling no holy and down people into this truth, man. He calling real writers. That's when to stand up against the evil doers and the workers and they get that in Psalms 9 or 4, 16, man. This is the real deal here. But, but y'all want to run around and, and, and go against each other, man, like you're doing something great, man. The most I going to get you. Read this. The book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evil doers? Love it. He said, who going to rise up for him? Against who? Against the evil doers. Against the evil doers, ready? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Who gonna stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Who gonna do this? You know, I remember coming down here, man, one, one, one first day of the week, everybody was fighting on the street. Everybody was fighting up and down San Junior. Big old knots on their head. And one of the dope dealers came up to me and said, Man, can you send the prayers up in Hebrew? He asked me that. What witnesses I know? Would you send the prayers up in Hebrew, brother? I told my everybody was fighting. He said, would you send the prayers up in Hebrew, brother? I said, okay, we're going to send them up. He knew everybody that come down here was here. So he went away. He came back, man, I'm serious, man. Send the prayers up in Hebrew. We send the prayers up in Hebrew. Rebuke Satan, rebuke all evil spirits, rebuke all evil people. In the name of the Lord and Savior, and they just moved away from each other. Miracles. That's the power we talk about. And they recognize it on the other side. Now, where you at on the righteous side that say you righteous and you can't see it? Those on the left side see it, the power. But by some of my shock, that was shot. But you can't see it? You better wake up, man, before it's too late. Man, because all the same ones that they most have called in, and they be in the kingdom before you. And you downplaying everybody, holier than now. Think you so righteous, especially if a lot of you to go to church, man. Y'all think y'all holier than ever, everybody. And walk around ain't following no laws and say, oh, ain't that the law? <laughs> Read. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. This is the righteous man that's going to stand against the evildoers and the workers of iniquity. Read. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. Yeah, we stand in great boldness, man, in the face of such have afflicted us and made no account of our labors. Like you, like your people. Your people, we worked for y'all for 400 years, man, for free. You understand? You know, right? You know that, straight up. That's why you right here, right now, to fulfill what the scripture says. So we don't stand a great boldness in the face of such afflicted us and made no account of our labors. We work for y'all for free. Read. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. Hear that? Y'all ain't got no reason to be fearing our enemies and the ones that hate us. Because when they see us standing in great boldness, that's why I say you got to stand up like a man, man. Stop being weak and being against your brother, but you ain't standing against your enemy. Come on. It's going to come a time, though. Most likely going to put the spirit on us when well, it's going to be on. It ain't time yet, because we fighting a spiritual battle. You understand? We got to get the spirit in us of the Most High first. But once we have the spirit of the Most High in us, totally, better look out. Read. Yeah, that's why you're going to walk away. Give me a second, second uh, T Timothy's 1 and 7. It's going to be on, y'all. But we got we to get ourselves spiritually right, like we got to be converted. We got to become a new man, a new creature, be born again with the spirit of the most high. Now we get ready for the kingdom, to take the kingdom, as it says. We ain't voting for nothing, we ain't marching for nothing, we ain't protesting for nothing. 
That's the Bible says. But it's going to be at its right time. It's going to be the right time, man. Can't nobody stop it because most of already read it. Written it. Read. The book of 2 Timothy, chapter 1, verse 7. Uh -huh. For the most high power have not given us the spirit of fear. So why are y'all fearing? Why are y'all afraid? Mosiah gave us the spirit of fear to be afraid, to come and represent him with his word. The represent of Mashiach Yahushua with his word. He spoke to multitudes, man. Call them serpents and vipers. And told Israel, you ain't nothing but the children of the devil. Like some of you are, man. Straight up. Two thirds of our people are the children of the devil. We know who you are. But we out here to reach the one third of the 12 tribes of Israel. But come back to the most high. And go against the evil doers and the workers of iniquity according to what's written here in the Bible. Read. For the most high power have not given us the spirit of fear. The most high gave us the spirit of fear. Read. But of power. But of power. That spiritual power. Read. And of love. And of love, man. The love is what? Second John is six. Power. How you get this power? With this love. What's the love? The book of second John, verse six. And this is love. This love. That we walk after his commandments. And when you walk after his commandments, you're obedient to him. That's when you get the power. But if you ain't obedient to, obedient to him, you ain't got no power, man. You're going to put your ass to death. Like I said, you got a choice to choose life or death. Which one do you choose? Hopefully you choose life. Ain't no way you're going to get life, but as it's a gimmick group for it. And what? This is the only way you'll get life. This is the only way you'll get life. And that's everlasting life, to live forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Immortality. Read. The book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 1. Mm -hmm. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High. Read this the book. The Bible is the book of the commandments of the Most High. Read. And the law that endures forever. The law endure. How long? Forever. So how is these Pope Chop Eat preachers telling us we ain't under the law? When the law endure, how long? Forever. The law endure forever. Read. All they that keep it, you keep the laws of the Most High, his rules and regulations. What he say? Shall come to life. You're going to come to everlasting life, man. That's how you will see everlasting life. Be obedient to the Most High's rules and regulations, his laws, statutes, and commandments. Read. But such as leave it, such as leave the law, as they telling you that, you're not under the law, but you're in the mercy and grace. All right. Read. Shall die. That's why I say you got a choice to choose life or death, man. That's why the most I told us as a people this. Turn thee, O Jacob. Turn, O Jacob. That's our forefather, read. And take hold of it. Take hold of the law. The laws are the most high. You can learn from Genesis to Deuteronomy. This is not hard, y'all. There'll come a time you're going to wish you did. Because we ain't going to be bringing forth this truth no more. Read. Really? Walk in the presence of the light thereof. Walk in the presence of the light that the law brings upon you, man. Have you illuminated, as it's going to tell you. That thou mayest be illuminated. That you may be illuminated. By what? By the spirit of the most side that's in you, man. But what you going to do? Keep on doing the same thing? got to change, man. Give me Acts 238. It's very important. Read verse 37 first. So now that you know you're a Hebrew Israelite, because y'all know y'all been hearing it for all these years. 11 years. Come on. A lot of y'all get, you have to know that who you are. That's why we walk there and y'all say, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. I hear it. You know your nationality now. Now it's about doing this, right? The book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 37. Now when they heard this, you heard this, whoever it is, right? They were pricked in their heart. Yeah, how do you pricked in your mind, man? The truth is like that, right? And said unto Peter, they said to Peter, and to the rest of the apostles, and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Like a lot of y'all might think, what shall we do? That may, might, might be a question that you have in your mind. What did he tell him? Then Peter said unto them, what did he tell him? Repent, repent, ask for forgiveness of your sins. Read. Right? And be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Amashiach Yahushai. Right. Be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Amashiach Yahushai. Read. Right? 
For the remission of sins. For what? For the remission of sins. For remission of sins. So who is this to? You think it's talking to everybody? No. Acts 5 and 29, man. It's not talking to everybody. It's talking to we, the children of Israel, going to prove it right here. First and foremost, you got to do this. As we are. The book of Acts chapter 5 verse 29. Cut. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said. Same apostle Peter that just said, you got to repent. Be baptized every one of you by her soul on myself. That was shy, read. We are to obey the most high power rather than men. So who you going to obey? Your pork chop eating preacher? Or you going to obey what the most high just said? Read it again. The book of Acts chapter 5 verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We are to obey the most high power rather than men. That's right. We're going to obey the most high from what he says in his word, in his Bible, rather than men, whatever man got to say. Because a lot of y'all just going by the precepts of men. They done created things like what y'all celebrate today and, and uh, going to church on the first day of the week. Constantine created that, man started that in the Council of Nicaea in 325 A.D brought in all the pagans that was worshiping on a Sunday, the sun god, man. That's what you're doing when you go up in the churches representing Nimrod. And you're going to celebrate his birthday on the 25th of this month, man. Bunch of hypocrites. Me. The power of our fathers. The power of our fathers. Who is that? Acts 3.13. Who's the power of our fathers? Acts 3.13. The book of Acts chapter 3 verse 13. God. The power of Abraham and of Isaac, and of Jacob, the power of our fathers. No, he's telling you who our fathers, the power of our fathers is. The power of Abraham, the power of Isaac, the power of Jacob. That's the most high's name. And that's memorial to all generations forever and ever and ever. You can't go wrong with that. So if you're not of Jacob, he ain't your power. Point blank. Read. Have glorified his son. We're about to Acts 5 and 30. The book of Acts chapter 5 verse 30. The power of our fathers. We know that the power of our fathers is who? The power of Abraham, the power of Isaac, and the power of Jacob, the most high. Read, Yahweh. Raised up Hamashiach Yahweh Shah, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Wicked Israelites, man. Gave him over to the Romans, the so-called Italian Caucasians, who were the superpower of the earth at the time of Hamashiach Yahweh Shah walked the earth. And they're the ones that put him to death. Read. Him have the most high exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin. Not to everybody. Give repentance to Edom, to Israel, Ishmael, to Israel, Ammon, to Israel, Moab, to Israel, Ham, to Israel, Elam, to Israel, to Israel, to us. Repent it to us. We the children of Israel. The twelve tribes of Israel. We. And forgiveness of sins. And forgiveness of sins. Matthew 15, 24. This is what he said out of his own mouth. But y'all always think about somebody else. I noticed. What about these people? What about them? I just showed you. He said, hey, to Israel. That answers your question before you can even think it. Worried about somebody else. You ain't made it yourself. We ain't made it ourselves, man. And y'all sitting up here worried about somebody else. This for us. Can't we have something? Can't we have something, brother? Yeah. Yeah, man. Why we can't have something? We got a hard time looking out for somebody else. Everybody looking out for us? Don't give a damn about us, but then we got to think about somebody else. Some other nation. We've been fooled long enough, man. It's time that the chickens come home to roost. And when they come home, they're going to bring it on. We're talking about the most high. We're talking about the Mashiach Kawashai, the real deal. You see? Read. The book of St. Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. This is what he said out of his own mouth, for Mashiach Kawashai. But he answered and said, What did he say? I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Can't get no simpler than that. Come on. He said, I was not sent. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's who we are, brothers. We the lost sheep. Who more lost than us? Anytime I got 69 different identities of what our race is. Who more lost than that? Nobody. Everybody else know who they are but us. We the 
reading again. The book of St. Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's what he said out of his own mouth, man. You can't gainsay on that. He said also in John 4 and 22. He said he was only sent to us. His blood was shed for us. Not everybody, man. Who need to be saved beside us? Nobody. We at the bottom. Nobody care nothing about us. We got to care about each other, man. But we know that the Most High love us. And all we got to do is come back to Him, man. That's, it's simple. Come back to Him, and we got next forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever, and ever to infinity. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Forever, man. That was this Bible talking about salvation to Israel. Let's see what Hamashiach Yahushai said, who salvation coming to. The book of St. John, chapter 4, verse 22. Ye worship, ye know not what. Yeah. Tell them you know that you're worshiping something that you even consider. You don't know what you're worshiping. He told this Ethiopian woman, read. We know what we worship. We know what we worship too. As a Mashiach Yavashad knew. He said, we. He said himself. He said, we know what we worship like we know what we worship. Read. For salvation. That's power. Rulership and authority, read. Is of the Jews. Is of who? It's of the Jews. It's of the Jews, man. They call us all Jews. You understand? Short for Judah. Because why? Isaiah 48 and 1. You see? Yeah. Call us all Jews. Because we, what? Don't tell you, read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 48, verse 1. Hear ye this, O house of Jacob. O house of Jacob. Who live in a house? Family. O family of Jacob. The 12 tribes of Israel. Read. Which are called by the name of Israel. We're called by the name of Israel. We the Israelites, read. And are come forth out of the waters of Judah. We come out of the waters of Judah. Hebrews 7, 14. We come out of the waters of Judah. You see? Judah is Jacob's fourth born son. So Mashiach Yahushua, who did he come out of? Judah's so-called Negroes today. So who did he come out of? Read. The book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 14. Uh -huh. For it is evident, it's a fact, Rick, that Hamashiach Yahweh our power, Rick, sprang out of Judah. No. He came out of Levi, Simeon, Zebulon, Ephraim. He came out of what tribe? Sprang out of Judah. He sprang out of Judah. Like we all come from the waters of Judah. St. John 14 and 8. So Philip asked Hamashiach Yahushua, he's one of the apostles, he asked Hamashiach Yahushua an important question. Since he came out of the tribe of Judah, listen to what he said. The book of St. John chapter 14 verse 8. Uh -huh. Philip said unto him, Master, show us the Father and it's sufficient of us. Suffice of us. Uh -huh. It'll satisfy us. Show us the Father and it'll satisfy us, right? Hamashiach Yahushua said unto him, have I been so long time with you? I've been so long time with you, Philip, babe. And yes, has thou not known me? Well, you ain't known me, man. You don't know me. Long as I've been here with you. Hey, Philip, he that have seen me have seen the Father. He that have seen the Mashiach Yahushua has seen the Father. Hey. And how says thou then, show us the Father? He said, how else you going to tell me to show you the Father? Hey. Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? Say the Father's in him, and he's in the Father, right? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself. You know, you know the words that he spoke is not his own words, right? But the Father that dwelleth in me. Right, the Father that dwelleth in him. Remember, because they're not the same. You know, a lot of people try to bring scripture some of uh, that they were equal. He's equal to the only reason why he's equal is that he spoke the words of the Most High. You understand? Because get uh, John 14, 28. Let's, let's dismiss that uh, fallacy, that lie right now. Let's read it. The book of St. John, chapter 14, verse 28. These are words of Amashiach Yahushai. What did he say? Concerning him being equal with the Most the same as the Most High, the same entity as the Most High. Listen. Ye have heard how I have said unto you, I go away. He said, I'm going to pray, pray. And come again. I'm come again. To judge and make wars, it tells in Revelation 19 and 11, read. And come again unto you. Uh -huh. If ye loved me, if you love him, ye would rejoice. You would rejoice. Because I said, 
I go unto my father. He's going to himself. I go unto my father. No, surely he said he's going to himself because they're the same entity. What'd he say? I go unto my father. He's going to his father. Rick. For my father is greater than I. So they can't be equal. There it is right there. Hallelujah. Now, hallelujah. He said, hey, my father is greater than me. You understand? That's right. Right to the point, right? So the Most High is greater than Hamashiach Yahweh Shah forever and ever and ever. So we're going to go to uh, Daniel 7 18. It's very important, man, that y'all repent. Yeah, but the only thing I can't understand is this. Can I say something? Yeah. How in the hell can the police station be around the corner? There's noble, I mean, not noble, the, uh, uh, the, the hotel the, uh, right there has been selling to us for 40 years since I came down here. It's dope all over. We can't, we hit the corner, anything you want, but we say, God help us, but he let it go. <coughs> Let that go on. So we ain't that. follow his laws, man. That's the part of the curse that we in. So, so that means that, coffee, coffee that, here, that whatever's over there, oh, coffee man. and that big old holy oh, thing over there, the rabbi and look at us yeah, and say, as long as we keep y'all stable and, and weak, you know, always bitchy because you can't whoop us. But it's amazing. It's because amazing, right? I remember. 30, I'm 58. I remember 30 years ago, I used to go by a drill. Right. And then I came down in town. Hey, bud. And every time I hit that corner, right down here, right? Right. Right there. So we, we come down here and we, we, we try to survive the day. And then people come down here. I was down here last night. They don't the want sleeping bags out the back, out the back of the truck, right? They, they're giving us sleeping bags uh, uh, and everything. So is that a thing? It's to help you, man, really. It's rough you sleeping bag. Give me a sleeping bag. I mean, it ain't nothing they can do. I mean, ain't nothing they can do. Give me a tent and a sleeping bag. I mean, it, my brother, that's well, feed us. And a feed us. Listen, listen. And some water. Yeah, listen. And a banana. Listen, just a word. You could, this could help you right here. Right. This, this could help you right here, man. Understand? The reason why we're in the condition we're in, because we ain't follow the laws law that's come out to the most high. Man. Get uh, Deuteronomy, listen, Deuteronomy 28 and 48, man. Listen to this. And you understand this for what you just said? Yeah, Deuteronomy 28, 48. Listen. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. Yeah, we're going to serve our enemy, man. Because did we bring the drugs over here? There you go, Hell no, listen. Hold on, don't leave. Because every time you read. All right, read. Which the Most High shall send against thee. Yeah. Most High sent the enemy against us. He sent the so-called white man against us, right? Right. In hunger. You want something to eat, you got to get it from him. Uh -huh. And in thirst. You want something to drink, you got to get it from him. And that's what they bring. And in nakedness. You want some clothes, you got to get it from him. Yeah, and right? bring, and in one of down. all three. Even drugs, bro. Who bring that down here? Yep. Yeah. White folks. Yeah, that's what I'm they saying. They the enemy. They, 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 they clothes. Yep. They throw them on the street. They bring but, us some water. But they, a lot of them got they 501c3s. Got they, they got they got non-profits too. That's why they doing it, to get rid of them. You're right, brother. Good testimony, man. That's real. Like I say, that's that's the way of the street down here. Yeah. Uh, how come they don't block? Look at them rats. They don't care. They don't block. Uh, they, 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 they don't come out now. spray for these roaches and shit? Because they don't care about they us. They want us. They don't care probably. about us. Give me uh, Ezekiel 7, probably. 24. They don't care about us, brother. That's why. Right. They pass by. The only thing they say is, as long as I say three people get killed down here. I watched three people get killed down here, man. I was laying there one day. Dude hit the door. He hit his head on the, on the pavement. And I was telling him in my mind, I'm saying, man, y'all need to call the ambulance. I was right there coming out of James Wood when the dude was in the face of the rape. I was right there when the dude was stabbed. The dude was about 15 times in the leg of the step cab. Then he tried to run in the mid in the midnight. And you know what? He pushed him back outside. Man, I'm telling you. That's you right, man. That's right. I good, see man. Shit. Every Wicked. time you say something to one of these the black men, Ezekiel. these black men down here, the first thing they want to do is knock you out. Why? And y'all call us, we're supposed to be okay. 
No, you ain't gonna be okay with that uh, kind of mad madness going on. As long as I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I don't fear nothing. Either. That's right. I'm 58, uh. eight kids, five mamas, 13 grandkids. I say thank you for where I'm at. And you know what? I just went and got six thousand dollars worth of teeth put in my mouth. And I tell you, tell these brothers in to go get your mouth fixed before the new president come in off that new Obama shit. And you know what? He looked at me like I'm crazy. Testimony. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 7, verse 24. None. Wherefore, I will bring the worst of the heathen, and they shall possess their houses. I will also make the pomp of the strong to cease, and their holy places shall be defiled. Right, man, this is what they have done, man. He said, don't break it up. Uh, Song of Solomon, verse 9. You got to know who the most I put over us, man. And then we're going to wrap it up. Talking about three holy children, verse 9. See, brother had a beautiful testimony, man. That's why I say the rules and regulations are down here, man. A lot of things go on down here that ain't right because it's wickedness. You know, it's wickedness everywhere, though. You know? Verse, Song of Three Holy Children, verse 9. Remember he said, he gonna send the worst of the heathen and they possessing our houses, man. They actually saying that they us. And we the children of Israel. They claim to be us. The Jewish people today. But ISA, as long as I know, mean pertaining to being like something. They not us. We the true children of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel. But read. Out of the Apocrypha, the Song of the Three Holy Children, verse 9. If thou didst deliver us into the hands of lawless enemies, most high deliver us into the hands of lawless enemies, read. Most hateful forsakers of the most high. The most hateful forsakers of the most high. That's what you're looking out for. Read. And to an unjust king. And to an unjust king. Read. And the most wicked in all the world. That's it right there. The most wicked in all the world. Last I read, Job 9, 24 says, The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he, man? That's right. Say, the wicked covered the faces of the judges thereof. Mashiach Abishai coming to judge and make war. The 12 apostles were 12 black men, so-called black men, Israelite men. He painted this picture in the Bible to represent our power, Hamashiach Abishai, and the most power, the most high, Yahweh. But I'll show him myself, that was shy, he's gonna have to pay. Like some of you have to pay, two thirds you got to pay, man, because like the brother just gave the testimony, all of them that did that wickedness, they're gonna have to pay, man. You ain't getting away with nothing. Yeah, the most high long suffering. But this is what you want, this is what we want you to know. Daniel 7, 18. The book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 18. But the saints of the most high, that's who we are. As a 12 tribes of Israel, we are the saints of the most high, right? Shall take the kingdom. We're gonna take the kingdom and possess the kingdom. We're gonna possess the kingdom. How long? Forever. How long? Forever. Forever, y'all. We got next. How long? Forever. Forever. Read. Even forever and ever. Even forever and ever, as it is written. Read. Verse 27. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High. We the saints, y'all. It's going to be given to us. We got next to rule this world forever and ever and ever. That's what we're here to tell you, to repent. Come back to the Most High's law, statute of commandments. Have faith in the Most High. Go right. to the Most High on our behalf. That we, this could be fulfilled. Read it again. Verse 27. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him. That's right, man. Our kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. It's going to last forever. Nobody going to take us out of power. And everybody going to serve and obey the Most High. Man, a Mashiach Yawashai. Read. Hitherto is the end of the matter. It's the end of the matter. Shalom. We out.